Hey, good morning, folks. Pastor Andy here. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Coming to you again off on the Skyline Drive up here. And uh, I'm not sure how hard the wind's blowing, but it's roaring up here. Um, but Proverbs chapter number 18, verse number 24 is the verse I want to give you today as we talk about Thanksgiving and, and talk, talking about being thankful. There's lots of things that you can be thankful for today. Uh, food, of course, and uh, living in a free country, um, being able to have the, the constitutional rights that we have, thankful for a Bible. But one of the things that I'm thankful for today is good friends. Um, in the ministry, I've got some people that um, are acquaintances, and then I've got some people that are friends. Um, Proverbs 18, 24 says this, A man that hath friends must show himself friendly. There's times when I've not um, fulfilled this particular scripture, when I've got friends and I've not showed myself very friendly for whatever reason, sometimes out of just pure neglect and not meaning to neglect things, but things that I should have been doing that I didn't do. But if you want to be a, a if you want to, somebody said once, they said, if you want, if you want a friend, you got to be a friend. And um, I'm thankful for my friends that I have today. And there, there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. And um, I just want to encourage you to, um, those people that you're thinking about today that are your true blue friends, pick up the phone and think about somebody who's, who's going through their first Thanksgiving um, without a loved one, without a, without a wife, without a husband. And um, if they're your friend and you know them and you know that they might be suffering today as you're spending time with your friends and your family, why don't you pick up the phone and maybe call them, send them a message, something, encourage them. Be a friend to those that are friends to you this Thanksgiving day. God bless you. Hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. See you tomorrow morning.